Hey guys, welcome to the channel, thanks for coming back to the channel, thank you for checking out this video, really appreciate it, my name is Ben, I am Four Sabres and I make absolutely everything at Four Sabres, everything you see on the website, everything that's done on the website, literally everything is done by me, uh, so there's two things you can take away from that, the first thing is, I have no life at all, no social life, I'm a massive loser, and secondly, I have way too much spare time on my hands to be playing around with toys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love sabers. It's why I do it. Um, but I did a video a little while ago, and it was on the Sith Stalker, and it was one that I just thought, and I still think now, damn, it's such a nice hill. It is that the shiny? This is. It's the shiny emitter that gets me every time. I love that shiny emitter. It's just. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's a magpie in me, I don't know what it is, it just, it's just like, oh, I love shiny things. But um, today, I've got a different saber for you, it's not a shiny one, but it is also, it is a very, very nice one. There's three iterations of this one, if you know what I mean by that, then you already know which one of the variations I'm referring to, but here it is. This is the nicest little, simplest uh, battle damage weather one I have. Uh, this is the God Killer, I think it is. Uh, there's a God Sword, God of War, and a God Killer, um, but it's just it's just a really really nice hilt. So um, the whole length. Let me let me get a ruler. Um, here we go. <clears throat> so the whole length of this hilt is is just over fractionally over eleven inches. Um, it's got a thirty-two mil grip. So well, it's most probably about thirty. 34 mil now with a rubber grip on it, uh, but yeah, I mean, um, let me let me show you the the thing close up. So you've got this really cool emitter. It's as I said, it's battle damaged and it's weathered, so it's not a brand new shiny lightsaber. But you've got all this damage weathering. You got it on the the emitter here. It's all on the body there. Um, it can go. It's got this lovely weathered, aged look to it. You've got a blaster deflect there as well and none of this is sharp all this is really nice and soft you, you, there's nowhere on here on here that will ever actually hurt you it's all rounded off and smoothed off even where the uh, the battle damages and these quite deep cuts uh, none of these are none of these are sharp um, you got some damage to the actual emitter there as well but yeah I mean it's it's just um, and it also you've got some down at the bottom so it's, it's one of those sabers, it's designed so it looks like it's kind of old, that it's been in a lot of battles before, it's been, uh, it's been slashed and hacked, maybe somebody lost a hand with it when they were using it because of the, the uh, lightsaber thing where it goes like, and you're like, ah, oh, my fingers. But yeah, I just, um, I just thought, I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to start, when I get these finished, as I said in the old video, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to actually start taking some video footage of these to actually show you what it looks like. Because um, it's great that I've got photos on the website, but sometimes photos just don't, they just don't really convey all the aspects of it. You know, you, you, you miss out on a lot of little tiny details, like, you know, you got your, your belt hook there. You miss out on lots of little tiny details when, uh, when it's in a photo. Plus, that's what it's like in my hand. So you can see, you get an idea of how big it is. I mean, it's... It's got a good weight to it. It's not stupidly heavy. It's not like two, th two or three kilograms heavy. It's about seven, eight hundred grams. So it's it's a nice weight. It feels very solid. Um, when this turns on, which you'll see in a moment, light comes out of here. It also comes out of that side. But anyway, give me two seconds. I'll be back, and I'll show you it with the uh, with a blade in, and we can have a go with it and see what it's like. Hey guys, right, I'm back. Uh, I've turned the lights down um, just so you can actually see because it, it's middle of the day. I don't want you to be able to see this, so uh, I'll turn it on now. Force Sabre on. Uh, every time you get a Force Sabre one, it also does that Force Sabre on. And that's it, guys, look at that. A nice solid red blade. I'll show you the uh, lighting effects, you can see it. So you can actually see the light coming through the side of the vents. Same on the back, like I mentioned. Uh, and also, there's some damage coming through the actual emitter itself. A bit of cheeky damage. Um, and this is running a Xeno V3. Uh, 
Uh, all the sabers from today uh, come with a, a Xenopixel V3. That's a V3, the latest one out. Uh, let's try a different profile. New Horizon. So because this is a Xenopixel, it has got gesture controls. You can turn it on and off with a gesture. And you can turn it off again with a gesture. Uh, you can also do a thrust move to turn it on and the counter to turn it off. So that's just a couple of things. You can also change profile. The chosen. What's the chosen like? Has loads of blade effects. And the good thing is, if you find a profile, you can actually go around, uh, there's 34 profiles on this, and you can change every single profile. So every ch profile, you can set the blade to whatever you want it to be. You can set the start up, the shut down, the blade effects, so you can have like a fire blade, a rainbow blade. There's loads of different things you can do with these. But yeah, it is really nice. And like I said, you can see the uh, damage you can see the light coming through the actual emitter. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll go turn the lights back on one second. So so right there you are. So that is the God Killer. It is a really nice saber. It comes as standard with a 32 inch blade. Any lightsaber you buy from me, they all come with the blades, they all come with a full install, and basically they're all ready to go out of the box. They come with a full charge, so you don't have anything to worry about. Take it out of the box, put your blade into the, into the hilt, tighten it with a locking nut at the back, and you're away. Just remember when you put it in, just push it in firmly, not so, you, you know, you don't want to ram it in there so hard that the, base start, the bend, blade starts to bend. Just put it in, push it in firmly, and lock it in place and you're away and you've got a great lightsaber absolutely gorgeous saber that's just ready to go with lots of damage and weathering and bear in mind guys if you've watched Star Wars which I'm guessing you kind of have um, how many times have you seen Star Wars somebody coming out walking around with a brand new pristine lightsaber I've never seen a brand new pristine lightsaber. They're covered in dirt, they've got scratches on them, they've got damage to them. Because they've been used, you know, when, when the Jedi starts or when the Sith start, part of the uh, process of them becoming a Jedi is that they have to build their own lightsaber to signify that they are now at a certain level. Um, they didn't go down to a shop and buy like the brand new most pristine parts. They had to make these from things that... They They had to make them from things that they could find. So I just, I feel the fact that for me personally, and I know a lot of people are different on this. Some people like nice and shiny ones, uh, brand new looking. Some people like them to be more realistic. For me, I'm more of a, a realism, a, a more actual type of, you know, if it's going to be this, it's got to look a certain way. And for that reason, I, I really like these battle damaged and weathered sabers because I just feel like, they feel like they have character. They feel like they've got, they've had a life before it's got to me that someone else has had this for decades before it's finally either I've come along and found it and picked it up or somebody else has had it and passed it on to me. It feels like it's got history and a bit of a soul, you know? I might sound like an idiot saying that. It's, that's just my, that's just the way I feel and my personal um, thoughts on lightsabers like this. Um, you know, it's it's part of the journey, isn't it? So I hope you like this video. I will be bringing out more videos uh, and I will see you all on the next video. <laughs>